Carbon Art. Today I'm gonna do a little demo of this cute little hair dryer that I got. It's called the Yeeho, which is Y-I-I-H-O, uh, compact hair dryer. The reason I want to try it out is because it, I find it very hard to use my regular hair dryer on a smaller piece. This is a 10 inch round. Also, the reason why we're not at my spinner is because my big lady that I did yesterday is still sleeping on that spinner and she's covered up and I don't want to disturb her. So we're actually also going to tilt today, um, which, you know, sometimes turns out nice, sometimes doesn't. Next issue, this paint I'm using, um, I always use semi-gloss and leave it open overnight, but this paint's been sitting a few days, so it's pretty thick. So I've thickened up the rest of my paints and I'm hoping it will work. I've only used this hair dryer once, but I really liked um, what happened, so I thought I would try again. So I will um, list my colors in the explanation, but today we're going blues and greens. That's really out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna start with this, and I'm gonna try to put on a lot, uh, probably more than I should. Do you see how thick it is? It's really kind of gluey. I hope I didn't go too thick. Uh, and then I'm gonna go with this green. Oh, actually, so I only, I have three um, regular colors and four pearl colors. So I'm going to uh, move them back and forth a bit. Um, this is a Arteza pearl green. Okay. I hope this works with everything so thick. Um, next, we will go with this deep green. This one's also Arteza, actually. Okay. Next, we will go with this cactus Arteza pearl. I think it's cactus. Don't quote me on it. Okay. Um, then we will do this lovely blue. We're kind of going off the side here, but. Okay, I really like this blue. Um, I wish I remembered what it was called, but it's an Arteza Pro. Okay. And then we will do this sap green. It always kind of turns out like a goldy color, but it's pretty nice. Okay, now we're gonna just move her back to the middle a little bit. My cell activator is Payne's Gray. I see some lumps in the paint already. Okay, so there's a lot of paint on here. So what I'm prob and what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'll blow it out and maybe the middle will still have black and then I'll blow the middle out. We'll see kind of what happens. So here's my Payne's Gray. Thicky, thicky. So I wanna get some good cells everywhere. Okay, ready? Oh, there's some pretty cells happening. There's a few dark spots here. I really like this though. I'll show you. Yeah, looking pretty good. I guess it helped that everything was the same um, consistency. See, this would be nice to spin, but what are you gonna do, right? Because I don't wanna mess up the cells too much. So I'll do my best. Um, let's see, what are we gonna do? You know what, I'm gonna pause and take a picture of it and come right back. Okay, took a picture, uh, just in case I really mess this up. Um, so I'm gonna leave the black areas I don't really care about. So these are really cute cells here. I don't. I'm not crazy about this side, so maybe I'll just start with this. Okay, you know what? Let me move my paints away. 
This is gonna be messy. I should have thought it up to sew better. <laughs> okay. It's already going off the side a little bit. Okay, let's see. Are we moving the middle? It's not moving a lot. Come on, lady. I don't want to mess it up too much. All right, we'll start this way. Okay, yeah, she's moving now. The problem is, I would totally leave it with white space, but there's too much pillow and it would just crack. So, I'm going to have to tip it off. I definitely got some cool cells that's for sure um and the tilting didn't distort it too much only a little bit but let's see i think i would like it oh the middle's a little distorted but i think i like it this way i'll show you what do you think it's cute i like my new hair dryer hope you guys enjoyed have a good day.